clouds kind of came back in, but across the region, it's really dependent on your local spot, what the clouds did overhead. This is all done by really early from now, about an hour, about 1247 into the morning time frame. So what's determined our weather over the last several days has been an area low pressure way up high at jet stream level and upper level low, we call it. Now that's been just west of us and it's you can kind of see through it because it's weakening and that's going to go north and it's going to move away as well. So finally getting rid of that northeast winds finally transitioning to more east and northeast winds eventually to southeast. It'll be the transition the change in the winds to southeast tomorrow breaks a few more clouds. We get some sun temps up, maybe a shower. It's a big picture over the next two days. That was Monday. This is Tuesday. Finally, Tuesday, we're going to get a healthy dose of showers, even possible thunderstorms, a strong cold front trailing from that area low pressure at the ground to where we are. So that's the big picture. Let's back up, reset the forecast overnight tonight towards tomorrow morning. Pinpoint the forecast, rain chances, temperatures too. Clouds will be back tomorrow. A couple showers way west, upper 50s, lower to mid 60s, and maybe you can leave the jacket at home, especially within downtown Washington, so you don't have to tote it around when it's warmer by afternoon. Should break a few more sun rays through tomorrow. The southeast flow kicks in. Isolated shower possible around the Washington metro. Let's take temperature to around 80 degrees Washington. East, eastern shore, you haven't seen any rain all weekend long. You've hit nearly 80 degrees a couple times already Saturday and Sunday. Mid to upper 70s, some spots a little farther west where you get more cloud cover. The rain chances are greater. Here's the rain for Tuesday as of right now. This looks to be the likeliest rain event we've had in a long time. As early as noon, some indications showing that some showers and storms could fire up west and be here. It's more likely afternoon, if not afternoon, evening, nighttime frame. This is 5 o'clock. Showers, even possible thunderstorms. This is 1130. It's near midnight. Might be a little bit too late. Looks to be around that 6 to 10 time frame. Tuesday might be that round of showers, possible thunderstorms to move in. Another 80 degree day. Washington is actually 5 degrees above the average high for the time of the year. But it looks like every forecast almost supporting that we're going to get those storms between Tuesday, if not Tuesday, lingering and Wednesday as well. Say it's a strong cold front because look what it does. The high temperatures, high temperatures all the way down into the 60s where the low temperatures are going to be. In fact, you see that low temperature Tuesday at 71. Our high temperatures will be under that in the rest of the week from there on out. Yes, fall is happening. Fall weather. Thank you, Devin. Seven is on your side with Health Matters. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists says that doctors should recommend more long-term birth control to their patients. Experts say long-acting reversible contraception can dramatically reduce the number of unplanned pregnancies. Types of long-term birth control include IUDs and contraceptive implants. They are 20% more.